Hello YouTube, and welcome to my review of the Robot Damashi Masarao from the anime series Gundam 00. Now, Masarao was featured in the second season of Gundam 00, and it is piloted by Mr. Bushido, aka Graham Aker. And this was the second mobile suit he was seen fighting in, and it also has another upgraded form later on in the show called the Masarao Susanowo but I like this version of it because it uses beam sabers instead of actual swords. So, let's get into this review. For head articulation, his head can be moved side to side. Down just a tad and up just a tad. His little Head crest can be pulled down and up. And his little power cable can move. And this is the reason his head cannot rotate 360 degrees is because of the head cable. Which you could take off, but he's, he always has it, so I want to be as show accurate as possible. For torso articulation, the Masarao can twist side to side a little bit, and he doesn't really lean down at all, <laughs> but he more than makes up for it with his ability to lean back. In fact, if I kind of get in there, this joint is actually used for the Masarao Susanawo's cannon. But this form of Masarao doesn't have one, so it's just kind of an extra articulation point. And this little thing on his back can be moved up and down. For arm articulation, this arm can rotate 360 degrees. The shoulder pad can rotate up a little bit and down a little bit. His arm can move in and out, and you can see that this chest part also moves. Arm can go about that high, can rotate below the shoulder 360 degrees. Just watch out for his elbow clipping that. Arm is on a single joint, and it can get about 90 degrees. Hand is on a ball joint, so it can rotate 360 degrees and wiggle wherever you want it to go. For leg articulation, I'm going to go ahead and start up here with his side skirts. His side skirts are on a little Revoltex style joint, which can rotate up until it hits something. Rotate all the way until it hits the shoulder, and it can move in and out. And they also serve a purpose as holding Daryl and Howard. His legs can be brought really far up. Almost a perfect split. <laughs> and they can be brought the same amount backwards. The knee pads can move up and down a little bit, as well as this little pad right here. So they get a little over 90 degrees for that bend. The feet are very awkwardly shaped, but they can rotate 360 degrees. You just have to watch out for the sides of the armor. The foot can go up like that, so up and down, and this little thing right here can be flipped up all the way up against the leg for when he's flying. And you can get it to go to the side 
all the way as well as all the way to the other side so any wide poses he can do it now for accessories let's start off with the hands he comes with a pair of fists a pair of open palm hands and a pair of sword holding hands speaking of swords he comes with two beam sabers Daryl and Howard Daryl is the short one, Howard is the long one and if you haven't seen Gundam 00 you're going to be thinking why the hell did he name his swords well these are in honor of his two former flag fighter comrades who died in battle and he comes with two of these one is just a normal one that I have in him right now and this one can be plugged in to either Daryl or Howard I'm going to use Howard right now and you just plug it in and plug it into the back of his head now I'm not going to demonstrate plugging it into the back of his head because it is an absolute bitch to get that head back on him and his last accessory is a Tamashii stage and this is a little bit special because it has some phrases he said in the show now I cannot read them because I cannot read Japanese but it adds a nice little stylistic flair to this otherwise normal Tamashi stage and it actually comes with a special attachment piece made specifically for the Masara and you just take the back of them little circle piece right here and it just fits right on there and he is not going anywhere here's a little size comparison between the Masarao and your average Gundam Robot Damashi and as you can tell the Masarao is much bigger than the double O the double O only comes up to about his chest. So, definitely, if you buy this guy, you're going to be getting your money's worth. Final thoughts The Masarao was an excellent robot Damashi release, and I highly recommend it to any Gundam Double O fans, any fans of Graham Maker's character in the show, or anyone who just wants a really cool looking mobile suit. Now, this guy is a regular release. So you could find them anywhere that sells robot damashis. I actually bought them on eBay for $25 with free shipping. Shout out to Anime King. He's awesome. Everyone go check out his eBay page. And uh, yeah, I highly, 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 highly recommend you get this guy. So with that, I'll see you at the next review.